Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have an awesome figure to take a look at as we have another Arctic Figures articulated figure, a Jurassic Park style figure here to take a look at. And uh, as you can see, we've got ourselves another Velociraptor. The last figure that we actually had taken a look at from Arctic Figures was a Velociraptor, but it was the 112th painted version. This is the 118th scale version with a little bit of extra articulation, and it is an unpainted figure this time. And I believe he's going to be uh, releasing painted and unpainted figures in the future, but I think he's more so going to be focusing on unpainted ones for now, just so that uh, he can get more figures produced quicker. And this one, again, is at a good bit of a smaller size than the previously released version. As far as the box art goes, though, it is phenomenal. Like, Arctic Figures is so good at coming up with that perfect look as far as, like, the nostalgia and the very high-quality appearance for his box art and this is yet another perfect example of that and this is very quite different honestly compared to the last box the last two boxes that he had which the last box for his 118 scale raptor was awesome this time we have a very different look for this as you can obviously see we've got like a window here to look through to see the raptor it's a little bit shiny there it's more so showing off the shelves of dinosaurs in the background there but what we also have this time around is a really cool there we can see it a little better now uh, we have a really cool collector's card included and he has gone ahead and commissioned these and created them to look exactly as the old school Jurassic Park cards did, but with some amazing artwork and that is just beyond exciting. I am... I think I'm equally as excited for these cards as I am for the figures themselves. You can also see again Velociraptor, 40 points of articulation and 118th scale. Also, some more artwork of the Jurassic Park style Velociraptor here that he has had commissioned. And then here on the underside, yet again some more insanely beautiful artwork as well as uh, telling you the social media outlets, which would be the Arctic Figures Instagram as well as the Arctic Figures email address. But that is, again, as close to a modern-day Crash McCreary drawing as I think I'm going to see anywhere. And then up here on the top of the box, you can again see Arctic figures having that kind of Jurassic Park type of a look for the logo. And then Hyper Articulation, Velociraptor with base and stand. And then here on the back, you can again see the incredible artwork here of the Velociraptor as well as some uh, images here showing off some of the other figures that are in the line and giving you a teaser for the other figures that will be coming in the future as well as we have Brachiosaurus, Triceratops, and Parasaurolophus. So uh, he's basically covering the dinosaurs that you see throughout the entire first Jurassic Park film before moving on to, I would imagine, the Lost World Jurassic Park. So super exciting basically he is giving us the type of figures that we as collectors dream of here and he's not skimping out on them as he's going to complete each of the films in order i believe and make sure we get all of the different dinosaurs that we would love to have so obviously we've got the velociraptor this time here to take a look at we also have a gallimimus dilophosaurus and t-rex in the line but the gallimimus i will actually also be reviewing here very very soon on the channel but the dilophosaurus and t-rex have not released quite yet but they will be on their way soon so let's go ahead and pop this out of the box and check it out right now so first of all once we take everything out of the box we've got the card that would be the first thing that we kind of get there out of the box and look at how awesome that is like that is just one of the coolest images that i could possibly imagine being associated with a jurassic park style velociraptor figure and it obviously is recreating the scene there at the end of jurassic park actually right as the raptor is about to pounce and rexy saves the day and you can see alan and everything here in the artwork here of this figure and then on the back you can see that we have some information on the figure as well as the dinosaur itself and then some trivia down here so again giving you that really high quality feel that perfect nostalgic feel and also it's in this like really cool plastic case so it stays nice and safe like you would want it to because cards can be pretty fragile at times and then you've also got the base as well as the stand. You can see the base is just this really nice earthy area. It has the Arctic Figures logo right there. We've got like a downed tree and everything. And if you happen to have seen my one 
12 scale Velociraptor review, you will obviously recognize this base as the base is definitely the same. Slide that in there. It's not exactly where I would probably put it yet, but it's definitely the same base as what we had with the larger Velociraptor figure, but now at a much smaller size, making it a little bit more affordable for people and also kind of uh, giving us a figure that's more in scale with the Mattel figures. And then we've got our Velociraptor itself. And look at how awesome that is. It's really neat to actually see it unpainted for the first time here in person because I've only seen it painted before when he uh, released the 1 12th scale version. So now I've got a 1 18th scale version of the same Raptor figure here to take a look at. And you can again see how cool it looks unpainted. And if you order this, as far as the unpainted version, this is of course exactly what you would get. You would get the unpainted figure itself. And it is just overloaded with articulation as per usual and also articulated toes now as far as like the sickle claw here and stuff the middle toe but I'm definitely really excited to take a closer look at this but what I think I'm going to do is actually go ahead take it over to my painting table I'm going to paint it up really quickly and then we'll be right back to check it out from there and we're back and we've got everything painted up so first of all here is our base fully painted now really simple paint job because it's not really anything that needs a lot of detail which is nice it's always nice to have that kind of really simplified earthy area where there's just like some rocks and stuff and you know a little log over here and stuff like that which is really again fun to have that type of easy base to paint and then you've got the velociraptor itself and i tried to give it the best jurassic park type of a paint job that i could give it as far as the jp raptor goes and i felt like it turned out pretty nice you know decent i guess so I'm pretty happy with that, and then we can go ahead and put our raptor, actually, let's go ahead and get them legs straightened out a little bit, put our raptor on the base, get it standing on here, if I can straighten this stuff out enough to do so, and there we go, our raptor is awesome looking now on its base, and again, he has done a phenomenal job as far as sculpting this out, and hopefully my paint job can do this justice as far as the sculpt goes. But we're going to go ahead and jump straight to a closer look at it right now, and check out this gorgeous Jurassic Park style Velociraptor. And here is our Raptor, and I do believe the sculpt of this is exactly the same as the original one that we had reviewed as far as the 1 12th scale version. So this one is a bit smaller and makes it a little bit more affordable for people to grab a hold of this one and get it in their collection. But you can see, again, we're not going to very thoroughly go over the sculpt or anything of this because we've already done that with the 1 12th scale version. I just wanted to, again, get a nice closer look at it here to show you what the detail looks like in this size range. And it really does look fantastic. Like you can see, Every ounce of detail is just beautiful on this Raptor. You've got all the really nice skin texture that you would like to see. Really nice looking scale detail throughout. Lots of creasing and stuff in the neck as you move through. And all the detail is incredibly vibrant on the figure overall. Which is always a huge plus. And uh, again you can see as we move through here it can just really give you a good idea of how nice the sculpt looks and all of the fine detail that he has included like you can see as we move through we've got skin folds skin wrinkles and stuff like that you've got nice muscle definition the hands and everything look great the nails also look awesome because they genuinely look like they could be sharp so they have a lot of realism to them you can also again as you move through pick out things like the bone structure as you can see the spinal column there along the back the hip bone and everything and then of course muscle definition moving down the legs the legs are just phenomenal as far as the sculpt goes and really nicely screen accurate here like you could see on the feet down here and we also again have the addition of articulated toes on this newest version which is something that the 1 12th scale version did not have which is a huge plus I think for this figure you can see we can move the toe up we can move the toe down so you can put that toe wherever you would like as if the raptor wasn't articulated enough it's got even more articulation now and again, as you move out through the length of the tail, you can continue to see how all of that detail looks honestly amazing everywhere you look. And we just have so many articulated joints as you move out the length of the tail of our Raptor, which allows this figure to pretty much be a stop motion dream come true for anybody that likes to create stop motion style uh, dinosaur films or anything like that, shorts, whatever you would like to call it. You can have so much movement with your 
Arctic Figures Velociraptor. And again, like I stated at the beginning of the review, this one comes unpainted if you choose this version. This, I think, I, I did an okay job as far as my paint job goes. I was pretty happy with it, and I feel like it fairly nicely replicates a Jurassic Park Velociraptor for the most part. So I just really wanted to give you an idea of how good it can look once you add some paint work to it. And it was a blast to paint. It really is a lot of fun painting something like this. And uh, definitely, again, gives you that awesome, very fulfilling feeling when you finally finish it and you get it ready to display because it looks awesome and then you also have the base and again the base is similar to what we had seen well actually not similar it's the same base that we had seen with the 1 12th scale version but now again it has been resized to fit the 1 18th scale version I painted mine up to just kind of give it a little bit of like an earthy area here and I felt like it turned out okay some decent looking paint I guess as far as uh, my paint job goes, I don't know, you'll have to let me know in the comments section. I did also paint out the Arctic Figures logo there because I felt like it looked pretty cool having it painted. And uh, again, you can see as we move through, we've got all the really nice detail that you would expect to see on a real piece of the earth present on this. And you also have the stand again to support your Velociraptor. So a super awesome Raptor to go with a super awesome base and now at a good bit of a smaller size compared to the 1 12th scale version that we have already reviewed here on the channel but let's go ahead and check out all of the articulation of our raptor so when it comes to the articulation of our raptor again you do have the articulated jaw which because the head wants to move i'm going to open it there with two hands i guess but you can see that we do have the articulated jaw and again the inside of the mouth looks amazing i added a nice gloss coat to mine to try to give it that realistic kind of saliva like look and uh, on top of that you also have articulation in the neck in a few different spots so you've got a spot right there you've got another spot there another spot there and another spot down here at the base of the neck leading into the body so that allows for some really nice articulation again lots of display options for your velociraptor figure as you move down a little bit further you've also got the articulation in the shoulder as well as the elbow and the wrist so lots of articulation there in the arm which allows again some incredible really really realistic looking articulation like just imagine how much possibility there is as far as you know stop motion goes for this figure you also have articulation here in the midsection so you can kind of articulate it up articulate it down sideways all over the place so again loads more articulation there you've also got the hip which works really nicely and also can move out away from the body. You've got the knee actually in two different spots, so right above the knee and right under the knee, as well as down here, and then down a little bit further into the ankle. And then again, the sickle claw here, the toe here can also articulate. And then I don't know how many joints there are moving out here in the length of the tail, but I can tell you that you could see it starts here and then you'll periodically have another articulated joint just the entire way out all the way until this point this is the last one right here so this little tiny tip of the tail is the only area of the tail that doesn't actually have any more joints in it because it just gets too small and that again allows for some incredible articulation out here on the tail as well just unreasonable amounts of posability for the velociraptor to allow you again to articulate it and pose it however you would like there is just no stopping you as far as this one goes. The sky is the limit when it comes to posing it. As far as a size goes, as I smack the light on the way in here, you are looking at about the 9 and 3 quarter inches or approaching 10 inch range or about the, I'd say about 25 centimeter area, maybe a little bit over. And then for a height, now of course this all depends on you and how high up you want to position it because you could articulate the legs to have it stand really upright, but in the position it's in currently about 4 inches or 10 centimeters. But for a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line next to our 1 18th scale articulated Velociraptor from Arctic Figures. And you can definitely see that it sports a really nice size, even again at a smaller size down from the 1 18th scale version it does still have a pretty good size to it and uh, definitely looks awesome would still be a nightmare for Robert Muldoon over there but for another comparison and this is the comparison I feel like is most interesting we've got ourselves the Hammond collection Velociraptor next to our Arctic figures version 
and you can see that they are very similar in size. I just wanted to move the Hammond Collection version back a little bit there. But they are very similar in size overall, except for the fact that the Arctic Figures version actually has some pretty good tail length to it, like it should, unlike the Hammond Collection version, which definitely has a shorter tail. And the feet and everything are a lot more proportionate to the body on the Arctic Figures version. So overall, the screen accuracy as well is just a mile apart compared to the Hammond Collection version. The Arctic Figures version is just so much more screen accurate than that Hammond Collection version, but still really cool to just see the two of them here together, finally, as far as the Hammond Collection version and then the much more screen accurate Arctic Figures version. And then for an interesting size comparison, we have the 1 18th scale version and the 1 12th scale version of the Arctic Figures Velociraptor here next to each other. And you can see again how cool they look next to each other. Honestly, both are incredible Velociraptor figures. His paint job and everything on his was also incredible. Like it really is gorgeous. And uh, hopefully mine looks half as nice as the Arctic Figures version did. But definitely again, really awesome looking Velociraptor figures. And I am beyond excited to now have both versions here as far as the 1 18th and 1 12th scale versions. So this brand new Arctic Figures 1 18th scale Velociraptor, the Jurassic Park style hyper articulated Velociraptor is another fantastic release from them and definitely is equally as beautiful as the larger 1 12th scale version that we had previously. But I feel like again, it's cool to have this one because it fits in a little bit better as far as like the Hammond collection line. And uh, it's also nice to have a little bit of a smaller version as well to just kind of give it that slight difference in price and uh well not even slight it's a good bit of a difference in price because the other version is a lot larger than this one but again it is just an overall incredible looking velociraptor arctic figures really does his homework when it comes to the sculpts of his figures like he spends a lot of time making sure that they look as screen accurate as possible because he really wants to capture the entire feel and appearance of the dinosaurs from the original film perfectly and if you ask me so far he has definitely been doing that because this velociraptor looks exactly to me as the velociraptors looked in jurassic park which is super super cool and on top of that we now have extra articulation with the 118 scale version with an articulation articulated middle toe there for our sickle claw and uh, you can now articulate that which is super awesome because you couldn't do that with the 118 scale version so again a little bit of an upgrade for this newest version but like I said whether it's the screen accuracy that excites you or the fact that you get to paint it yourself which is another very exciting aspect because I love painting my own dinosaur figures I love getting fully painted figures trust me I really do because I sometimes find uh, it's hard to find time to actually get my stuff painted, but it's also so much fun to actually paint figures yourself. But whether it's, again, like I said, it's the incredibly screen accurate appearance that really excites you or the fact that you get to paint your figure that may excite you or potentially the most exciting aspect of all, the insane amounts of articulation. There is just so much articulation on this figure. There is just articulated joints galore, like I said about the articulated toes. But of course, you have so much more than that because you have articulation starting in the jaw all the way down the neck, all the way through the arms, the midsection, the legs, all the way out the entire tail, just giving you countless possibilities as far as posing and displaying your raptor, as well as giving you the ability to, again, have incredible stop motion for your figure, which I think is also very, very exciting. So if this is something you are interested in, trust me, it is a great addition to any collection, especially any Jurassic Park collection. I will include a link in the description to the Arctic Figures Etsy shop where you can head on over there, grab yourself one of these amazing unpainted Velociraptor figures for yourself. And make sure you keep checking back, of course, for the Gallimimus review, which will also be coming up very soon. And also make sure you follow Arctic Figures on Instagram because that's the best way to stay up to date on everything that he is producing and creating moving forward as he has a lot of big plans for his figures. So make sure you follow them on Instagram. Make sure you grab yourself this Raptor and make sure you also like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.